Hey you guys, it's me Thomas number one French thousand three here. So right now I'm gonna be making part three of my Thomas Trackmaster engine collection. So let's get started with part three of my collection. Okay, so to start off part three of my collection is gonna be Steelworks Hurricane. So yep, here's Steelworks Hurricane. I got him the day after my 14th birthday back in 2017. You'll probably my Oh my gosh, you probably remember my unboxing video that I made of him. So, um, yep, this is Steelworks Hurricane. He's a, a big, huge tank engine. And, um, yeah, I can tell that he's all covered in soot from working in the Steelworks. And he has red wheels, a piston cylinder. And, yep, there's the side. He's number 20. And here's the top, and the bottom, and here's the front of him, and, oh, he works. And here are his two freight cars he came with. They're full of molten steel. Now, I first I thought that, th that this was lava, but nope, it's molten steel. And that's the exact same thing. Like this is the exact same as this, but they're like like opposite colors if you want to say that. And yeah, molten steel is really hot. And your yeah, hurricane's wheels actually melted at the end of Journey Beyond Sodor. Well, well, um, <laughs> after, well. Yeah, when he, like, saved Thomas from the molten steel, so, yeah. Oh, if you remember that part in the movie. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much all for Steelworks Hurricane. So, up next is Merlin the Invisible. So, here is Merlin. And, yeah, my mom actually really, really loves Merlin. I remember she fell in love with him when we first saw him at Walmart. She was like, oh my gosh, when she saw his, like, beautiful paintwork. It's like mirror paintwork. And, yeah, it's really, really shiny. I mean, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And, um, yeah, he's a really, really pretty, like, mirror color, as you can see. And there's his face. And here's the bottom. He has red wheels, just like Hurricane. And here's Merlin's tender, and he's number 783. And yeah, there's all the coal in there. Yeah, it's the exact same color as Merlin himself. Yeah, it's number 783, and here is the bottom. And yeah, there's the coal. And here's the freight car that Merlin came with. And yeah, I actually... Yeah, on my 14th birthday, I did an unboxing video of this. But, um, yeah, here's the freight car it came with. Yeah. It has, like, um, cogs right here. And, yeah, there's the bottom. And, yeah, it's a pretty cool freight car. Yep, that's pretty much all for Merlin the Invisible. So, up next is... Steelworks Thomas! So, up here's Steelworks Thomas. He's, like, um, almost completely black. Well, except you can see just a little bit of some blue on him right here. And right here as well. Well, I mean, you can fully see the color blue. And... Oh, wait a second, here's the side, the top, the other side, and the back, and here's the front, there's his face, he has like kind of a, like, whoo, look on his face, he looks kind of exhausted and tired from working at the steelworks, and you can see there's some soot on his face, and you can barely even see, but there's like a small hint of pink on his cheeks, which means that he's a little bit hot. And then here is this freight car. 
Oh, where is it? Oh, here. Okay, so you can kind of see some, like, molten steel inside. And it can actually kind of move around in there a little bit. Yeah, it can move around. Like this. Like as if the molten steel in there is moving. And yeah, there's the bottom of the car. And it's a pretty cool looking car. And then here is this freight car with some ballast in it. I'm not really too sure. It's like this orange color. I know it's not molten steel because molten steel is liquid. Like a really, really hot liquid. Um... I don't know, these are probably this is probably ballast right here. I have no idea. Like the like the, the like silver part of train tracks or something, whatever you wanna say. <laughs> like the thing that the train wheels go on. But yeah, that's pretty much all for Steelworks Thomas. So up next is Real Steam Thomas. And yep, Real Steam Thomas. Um I actually got him at Toys R Us back in um, summer 2016, <laughs> and, um, yeah, this is actually a very, very cool engine, as you can see, he's, like, this pretty dark, kind of glittery blue color, it's actually really, really pretty, and, yeah, up here is a white button, you can press it, and he'll turn on, but, um, yeah, we took the batteries out of him, because for some really weird reason, um, <laughs> even though he was turned off, his wheels were still moving what the heck even yeah his wheels are still moving and um i'm not really too sure what could have happened there but i don't know i mean it was just super duper weird and random but yeah you can fill him up with some water on oh, which hole is it oh yeah that that one right there that hole right there is the hole where you fill him up in yeah steam will come out of this funnel which is pretty cool and that right there is the air hole and yeah, this is a very, very cool engine. My brother had one just like him. But, I don't I think it was called Steam, Steam Around, Thomas. I don't know. But yeah, that was from Tell Me. But yeah, this is the Mattel one, obviously. And here is this water tanker that came with him. You can see there's a triangle with some water droplets on it. Which means that you can use this in water or whatever. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and there's like a big, huge hole. Because this right here can go into it. But, um, yeah, this tank right here is red colored, which is quite cool. They even made a real scene, James and Percy, as well. But I didn't get them. But, anyways, here's this cool water dropper. You can just, um, get it filled up with water by squeezing it, then let the water get into it. And then you, you like, put it into a little water hole so you can get them filled up with water but it's pretty obvious that we don't have any batteries into this thomas so um yeah but yeah, this is a really cute little water dropper it's really cute i, I really like it <laughs> and um yeah this is made in china back here so but yeah that's pretty much all for the real steam thomas and plus the little water dropper can actually go inside of here but yeah that's all for real steam thomas so up next is Sky High Bridge Dump Thomas. So up here is Sky High Bridge Dump Thomas. You all probably remember that he came in the Sky High Bridge Dump set from the Great Race. And yeah, he's actually really, really cool. I love how he's all glittery. You can really, really, really see that glitter. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. And um, yeah, so he has like these cool streaks and some sparks on him and he's all pretty and glittery metallic and yeah there's the top there's some more streaks oopsie and um here's the other side it looks just like this side but obviously <laughs> and um here's the back and the bottom of him and yeah, there's this cute little face. He actually has the exact same face as the Streamline Thomas engine. But, you know, his pupils are a little bit bigger than his. And yeah, he's actually really, really cute. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much all for the Sky High Bridge Dump Thomas engine. Oops. 
So up next is Thomas and Ace the Racer. So up here is this cool Thomas right here from Big World Big Adventures. I got him for my 15th birthday. And yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the Sky High Bridge from Thomas I got for Christmas 2016. But yeah, um, th th this Thomas right here, this one, I got my 15th birthday. And, um, yeah, there's some, like, rain on him or something, and, yeah, there's some, like, like, leaves and vines and some snakes. And there's even a frog up here. Yeah, it looks like as if he's, like, traveling in the rain. And, yeah, there's that side. And, yeah, there's the back. Oh, and he has a kind of shocked face face he's like <gasps> and um yeah he has like brown wheels because he's like traveling in the mud so he's getting a little bit dirty which I quite like that actually and here's this red freight car with this green snake in it wait hold on a second so here's the freight car Yeah, and it has brown wheels, just like Thomas, because they might be traveling in the rain, as I said. And, yeah, the snake's just green, with, like, black dots for eyes. <laughs> and, um, here's Ace. Well, here's the freight car first. So, yeah, there, there are these, like, two pegs right here, and it's, a, a like, a gray freight car with brown wheels. And here is Ace. He's like a little Hot Wheels car. My brother had a lot of Hot Wheels cars when he was little. And, um, yeah, there's Ace's face. And there's like a little tire up here. Like a spare tire. And he's number 43. There's some like dirt on him. And, um, yeah, there are some like extra details down here. And there are two holes. That way he can, like, um, you know, go onto this car, see? Like that. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much all for Ace, and this will actually probably be the last thing I'll, um, <laughs> do in this video. I mean, yeah, I feel like this will be the, like, these will be the last ones I'll do for this video. But, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed part three of my Thomas Trackmaster engine collection. So goodbye everybody and have a great day and peace out.